go. <laughs> go. Go. Okay. I have a little notes. Okay. So well, let me see. Ellen, give me a second to introduce you. Oh, sorry, Judy. <laughs> Okay, we are delighted, thrilled, and so happy to have Ellen Jaffe back with us. If you remember, she recently did a lunch and learn on her photography, which we loved and was wonderful because she's a great photographer. So today she's talking about ukulele basics, um, the four and six stringed instruments, plus, I hope I get this right, banjo lele, which is a combo banjo and ukulele, a hybrid. She's going to show us some basic chords to accompany familiar melodies. And then we're going to have some picking and picking. So if you have extraneous noise in your environment, please mute yourself. Okay, Alan, take it away. All right, Judy, thank you so much. So one day I was walking down Main Street and I passed One Love Beach. I don't know if you know that store. They sell um, surfing, water sports stuff. And there was a red ukulele in the window. And I thought, ah, perfect for Ella, who was two and a half at the time. Got it for her. She never touched it, but I picked it up. And I started to figure out that it was pretty simple to learn a C, G, and F chord and start strumming songs for her. So that, that's how I started. It was maybe three years ago. I, I'm, I suppose you'd say I'm an, maybe an advanced beginner, not a professional. So I hope you, your expectations are low when it comes to my playing, but I love it. So, um, and I've since discovered there is a world of ukulele out there, online and virtual and real, analog. Uh, before COVID, groups in every town and every city, virtually in the world, um, that I'm aware of. Um, and even here in Greenport, there were two groups. Can you believe it? Little Greenport, there's one at Peconic Landing. And, um, and myself and a friend started one here two years ago. And uh, let me screen share our poster, which you may, may be familiar with. Um, let's see if I can get this to get to a size. Can you see that? It's good. Yeah, yeah it's good. that was our, we posted this around town and um, we decided Sundays that was a good afternoon to try to gather people. And we were shocked when 12 people showed up with ukuleles <laughs> the first time. So, and we just, um, most of us beginners, but we knew enough chords. There we are by the carousel. Um, we knew enough chords to play this land is your land and, and um, uh, what else? Just a very popular songs like uh, uh, Bob Dylan tunes and um, can't think of any right now. Uh, anyway, uh, this is this is a, a jam that I'm part of in Brooklyn. Uh, we get together once a month and uh, usually 30 or 40 people show up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we get mostly ukuleles. There's always one or two mandolins. Somebody bring a harmonica. Um, there's a percussionist who will just pound on the table. And we, we make a lot of noise. Um, so that's, that's what the, it's a big world out there. And if you're learning, there are, let me stop sharing. There are just amazing resources online. There are Endless lessons by wonderful people, really great teachers. This woman, Cynthia Lynn, gives free online lessons and uh, you can learn basic chords and basic songs. Everything from, from Beatles to oldies from the 20s and 30s. Um, she teaches strumming techniques. So it's very accessible. That's what I love about ukulele and very democratic. Everybody plays, from kids to adults to seniors. Um, so 
I, I love it. And you know what? Af after a, a childhood of uh, taking the obligatory classical piano lessons, which was a, a solitary experience, ukulele has you playing with people in, in the group, in a group, and it's very social. I love that part of it. So why else play the ukulele? It's very affordable. Uh, you can buy a good uke for, a good enough uke for 75 bucks to learn to play basic chords. Obviously, the more you spend, the higher the quality of the instrument and the sound and the tone, um, and you can spend many thousands of dollars on handmade ukuleles, um, but you don't need to, to get started. Um, it's very portable, you know, here's, a, this is the, my ukulele, and it's actually not considered a small one. It's, uh, um, because it's got an extended fretboard, uh, but I take it everywhere. When I, I go to <clears throat> my Orca to bicycle every year and I take it with me. Um, and I have a little travel ukulele. I don't have it here in Greenport, but it's that big and it's about that thick and it comes in a little case and it's just, you can put, you can take it on a boat with you. You can go anywhere with it, the beach. So very portable and very fun, very easy to learn the basics. Um, as you can see, there are four strings, just four strings. G, C, A, and E. So you're not, you, you, don't, you don't have a lot of strings to be holding down. And you easily, especially with a smaller uke, you don't need a tremendous amount of pressure on the beginning strings. So, three basic chords, C, F, and G, and you'll be able to access literally hundreds of tunes. Um, uh, let me show you the uh, four main ukulele sizes, if I may. I think that may interest you. And please ask questions. Don't let me do all the talking. Okay, these are, these are your standard ukulele sizes. Soprano is <clears throat> pretty small. I would say, you know, your, your average soprano is maybe 22 inches, something like that. Uh, the one that, that I showed you was a concert, but with the extended fretboard. So if I want to uh, do bar chords right up the neck, I can. It gives me a little bit more range. Uh, tenor, slightly bigger, a deeper tone. The larger you get, the deeper the tone. And a baritone, now a baritone has a different tuning. So if you play the baritone, you're gonna be learning uh, different chord formations. It's a different thing. The first three are much more common. Uh, I would say if you're beginning, you wanna choose one of those. And the best way to choose is just to go to a store and try them out and see what feels comfortable. So, um, oh, and I want to show you a banjolele. I always dreamed of playing the banjo. I thought it was so cool. And I love American folk music. But, you know, at my age, taking on such a project, I thought, yeah, just cut to the chase. Get a four string ukulele and pretend it's a banjo and it sounds, sounds like a banjo. So, almost. It's a, it's a tinny sound. It's very much louder than your average ukulele. And um, you're heard in a group. In fact, there are some groups who ban the banjolele. <laughs> Sad to say. <laughs> but if you're playing outside, it's fine. Ellen, I have a question. Sure. Are the strings on the banjolele, are they nylon or are they metal strings? Nylon. Nylon. Yeah, it's a, it does have that banjo twang to it, even with the nylon strings. Yeah. I'll show you uh, why this one particularly. Um, this, this was my first. Can you see, do you have the little thumbnails where you can see on the side? Let, yeah. me, let me get out of screen share so I can show you the difference. Um, 
this is a was my first banjalele, but the pot size on this is 11 inches. Wow! So it so it's a it's got a quite a a, a deep and a and a big sound. So uh, this is made by uh, Good Time, which is a specialist banjo company. That's what they do. They make banjos of every price level, and they make banjos for the best players in the world. So they have a wonderful website if you want to hear what these instruments sound like um, and hear really good players. That's a good place to go. What's good the name time. of the What's the name good. of the What's the name of the website? Oh, Adrian. Hi. Um, good Sorry. time. Good time. Good, good time banjo. I'm sorry, I'm American, right. It's an American company. Good time banjo. Yeah. I love banjos. Yeah. Me too. Ellen, yes. can I interrupt you for a second? If, if everybody wants to get a full screen view of the instruments that Ellen is showing, maybe you want to show them again. In the sure. upper right hand corner of her image, if you click pin video. If you click pin video, then then Ellen is big on the screen. Oh. See it? Yes. Okay. Got it. You got it? Yep. Got it? Then, all right, show the instrument. Okay, so so these are these are both banjalilis. You can see there's four huh? strings. This is the good time. That's the strap in the way. Um, it has a short fretboard, uh, which is fine. It's not as long as my concert ukulele. And this is, this is a um, hundred dollar. But this is for a hundred dollars. This is what you can get. It's just fine. Uh, if you're starting out, and you want to start out with a banjalele. It's uh, made by Oscar Schmidt, and um, I was very happy with that until I. Got this. <laughs> and then the sound is bigger. It's great for a group. And I'll show you um, by comparison. Let me show you this. This is a banjo. This is a five string banjo. So you see, they look the same, and you could be fooled, but they sound quite different. This has metal strings. If you're not used to playing it, it'll eat up your fingers, but you get used to it. Um, and this sounds, this sounds like American folk, more than, more than this. Um, but it is a fun instrument. So uh, please ask questions if you, if you have any. Could you show us the differences in the sounds? It's like doing the same thing, but the- Sure, you, should I do that now? I'm glad I'd to. love it. Um, so let me do, let me slide this one over. We have a lot of that. Uh, so this is my concert ukulele, very standard ukulele. This is a uh, brand on this one is Koaloa. It's a good, it's a good ukulele. It's, um, so uh, just play a few bars of the, and this is a, a picking uh, strum that I learned called the Travis strum. I'm not very warmed up, but. <laughs> you really have to warm up that. Do you recognize that tune? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> because I was playing it so badly. Let me try. Maybe I'll do better on this one. But hopefully you'll hear the difference. Um, can you? That's better. Good. called Freight Train. It's an American classic. It was written by a woman by the name of Elizabeth Cotton when she was 13 years old. 
two very interesting stories. She wrote this, uh, brought born into poverty. Her great grandparents were slaves, I believe. And uh, she got into church stuff, stopped playing for 40 years and would then wound up working in a department store in Washington, DC and rescued a little girl who was lost in the aisles one day. And her mother was Peggy Seeger, Pete Seeger's sister. And they said, do you want to work for us? And she did. And they realized she started playing again, teaching the kids guitar playing. She had a very unusual way of picking. And naturally, the Seeger family was very, very musical. And they said, wow, she could mm -hmm. pick like crazy. All came back to her. And she became in her 80s, you can see videos of her online playing it. She, she's quite old, elderly, but she still can pick. So she became well known in her 80s. Hmm. Discovered by the Seeger family. What, so was anyway, what was her name again? I'm sorry. Elizabeth Cotton. Thank you. Could you hear the difference? No. It's hard over Zoom, right? It's hard. No. Zoom doesn't. It's a deeper sound, I think. It's a fuller sound. I don't know. Let me try. Plucky, very plucky. Little twang under it. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. Right. Zoom is not the great greatest avenue for music, yeah. obviously. It's pretty awful. You cannot play together on Zoom because of the audio lag. I mean, I play and a half a second later, I hear your note. So it's just doesn't work. Um, so, uh, so, so that's, um, what else should we do? Maybe, um, oh, we could talk a little bit about choosing a, a ukulele. Why you, you, let's see, did I, I think I, I came up with, let's see what I've got here. Um, you know, just, uh, the tuning and the baritone you uses a different tuning for the strings. Um, and probably if you're, if you're starting out, uh, you, well, not probably, if you are starting out and you want to play with people, the best is, is, is a soprano, smaller, a concert or a tenor. If you want a deeper tone, you get the tenor. And in fact, I do have a tenor. This is slightly bigger than my uh, concert. Um, but this one is different in that it has six strings and two of the strings are doubled. Let me see if I can show that to you. So you see there are six pegs. And the C and the A strings are doubled. And, and it's, it's, this one is a kamaka, it was made in Hawaii. And it, it's a beauty, it's a lovely, lovely instrument. And it, it's, it's got a very sweet sound that those extra strings give it a sweetness. So. that if Zoom is subtle enough to pick that up. Mm -hmm. uh, they also make an eight string, uh, which simply doubles every string. Uh, so the tuning is the same. It's um, G, C, E, A, but you get the sweetness of the extra vibrating string. Um, mm -hmm. And they are harder to play because you're, when you're pressing down on the fretboard, you're covering, one finger is covering two strings. So you, you've got to work at that. You have to toughen your fingertips even more. But very playable. Hmm. So that's, that's the range of ukuleles. Um, 
and uh, I guess I should talk about tuning. It's, it's with digital tuners, it's not a big deal anymore. Um, let me find my tuner. I put it down somewhere. So there are tuning uh, apps online. You just Google ukulele tuner and you'll come up with million apps. Uh, you know, they're not apps. They're just ukule ukulele sites with tuners. And you just listen. You, they walk you through the strings. But I like very much what's called the Snark tuner. That's the brand. And you turn it on and you place it on the top of your ukulele and you strum a string and it it tells you i'm not sure you're gonna where the sweet spot is with a green bar helen you're still sharing your screen oh i'm sorry thank you for telling me <laughs> okay good i was talking to myself <laughs> okay can you see this yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you see a green bar? Is that visible? Sometimes it's... No, I don't see a green bar. Okay. Anyway, it's simple. These things cost about under 15 bucks. And that's how you tune your instrument. Wow. Very easy. Wow. Um, so, simple chords. Well, I thought I'd just uh, show you how to play a C, an F, and a G7. Because there are so many... Are you interested in that? Um, sure. Uh, there are so many songs that you can play with those three chords. Um, and then maybe we'll do a few strums just to show you the variety of strums. I'm so going to mute myself. So I'm going to play along with you, but then you won't be able to hear me and it won't be confusing. OK, Tom, that's, that's okay. great. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to mute okay. myself, but I'm going to play with you. OK. So. C, it's very simple. A C on the first string, third fret. I like to use this finger, my ring finger. That's, that's, that's C, that's simple, it's that simple. And if it sounds tinny, it means you're not pressing hard enough. And if you're gonna wonder where exactly on that on the neck to put the finger more towards the metal fret itself. Not on it, but towards it. Um, and then F, not too much harder. You're gonna use two fingers though. Uh, let's see, second string, first fret, and fourth string, second fret. That that's your F. G7 is a triangle. Looks harder than it is. You're gonna go index finger here, second string, first fret, and then these two, middle finger, ring finger, you're gonna go, whoops, right here and right there. It looks like a, I don't know if you can see, it's a triangle. Sarah, are you good? Yeah. Tom? Tom, you got it knocked. Okay. That's it. So let's do it again. C. C. F. G7. C. F. G7. Great. All right, let's let's play something. Let's see. I wish we could all play together. That would be fun, but it it won't sound good. Um, oh, before just let me say a word about strumming. There's so many different strums, and it's very dependent on obviously on what you're playing. Strumming is rhythm. That's what it is. It's rhythm, and um, it carries the song. So uh, you want to be appropriate to what you're playing. And once you're down the road a little bit. You, you go with the flow, you go with how the song feels to you. Obviously, if you're playing with a group, you try um, to play along. But if I'm playing alone, I'll, I'll add some swing to something if it sounds right to me. Uh, so using your nails to strum gives a brighter, a brighter tone. 
I either use index or middle. And sometimes I'll use all four fingers. Uh, using your thumb is, is quite muted. And some people and some songs call for it. Do you ever use a, a I have a felt pick that I like to use sometimes. Do you ever use that? I, I don't, but I know people who do. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It makes it easier for me. Anyway. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I get a big oh, yeah, sounds good. Oh, oh, I did. oh, I didn't mute myself. Sorry. <laughs> Sounded good. Um, um, so, how about if we try? Um, do you know the song King of the Road? Yeah, sailors for uh, trailers for sailor. I have no voice. Let me get that straight. <laughs> I ha my singing voice is not good, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway, just so, and I'm going to put the lyrics up so you all can sing along. Is that? Yeah, good. Yeah, good, okay. Um, but we should probably, should we all mute ourselves? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably best, only because of the audio delay. It, it will not sound great. Oh, let me just show you. That's what we were just doing with the three chords. Um, okay, let me see if I can make this any bigger without, no, it's going to take it right off the screen. So, okay, and, and what, you can do a very, you can do simply a down, 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 down. Or Ellen, do, people yes? can make it, people can make it bigger themselves if they're on, a, at least on an iPad, just by pulling it, pulling it apart. Okay, great, great. If I go bigger on my screen, I'm gonna lose half of it and then I'll, I'll have to stop in the middle of it. So, great. Okay. That's how I strum it. Trailers for sale and rent. Rooms to let 50 cents. Ain't got no cigarettes, I but two hours of pushing brooms by the eight by twelve for me. Mama, man of me means by no means, king of the road, third box car, midnight train, destination bank remain. No union dues, I smoke old stogies I have found. Short but not too big around. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road. I know every engineer on every train. All of their children and all of their names. Every handout in every town. Every lock that ain't when no one's around to sing trailers for sale or rent rooms to let 50 cents no phone, no food, no pets ain't got no cigarettes I but two hours of pushing brooms by the eight by twelve no bedroom I'm a man of the king of the road King of the road. King of the road. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Yay! That was fun. Okay, all right. So that's just those three chords. Just C, F, and G7. Right. And, um, so what about if we do Jamaica Farewell, which you probably all know, I'm guessing. Um, that's also the same three chords. Um, but what's nice to do uh, for Jamaica Farewell is what's called an island strum. And it's, it's like this. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. 
down, up, down, down, up. going to switch to my six string. It's better for this tune. Excuse me. Um, it's a it's an island ukulele, so it should be played on island tunes. Okay, so let me get the music up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Do it so you can see what I'm strumming. And on the up, I'm using the nail of my thumb. So down, down, up, up, down, up. I'm exaggerating. Let me pull up the music. <clears throat> Make this bigger if we can. Okay, there we That's go. Good. <clears throat> Great. Sarah, Tommy, ready? <clears throat> yep. Okay. Intro. Down the way where the nights are gay and the sun shines gaily on the mountain top. A trip on a sailing ship, and when I reached Jamaica, I made a stop. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way. I'll be back for many a day. Me heart is down, me head is turning around. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. Down at the market, you can hear ladies cry out while on their heads they bear. Hockey rice, salt fish on ice, and the rum is fine any time of year. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way. Won't be back for many a day. Me heart is down, me head is turning around. I had to leave a little girl in Kingston Town. of laughter everywhere and the dancing girls sway to and fro must declare my heart is there though i've been from maine to mexico and i'm sad to say i'm on my way I'll be back for many a day me heart is down me head is turning around i had to leave a little girl in kingston town I had to leave a little girl in Kingston town. Sorry, I screwed up nice. the last line. Pretty song though, isn't it? Yeah. Did you know that tune? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, Ah, uh, so I'm, I, I chose songs just to demonstrate different easy chords and also different, um, different strums. Uh, so that was the island strum. We did a straight strum. And um, something different is uh, La Bamba. Hmm. Um, do you know that song? Yes. Da, 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 bum, bum, yes, bum, yes. Da, 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 da. Um, Sarah, Tom, do you know this? C, F, G, seven, F. It's just back and forth. Any 
Saint or Sarada. Let me pull up the music so you have the lyrics in front of you. Um, there we go. Oops. Come back. Okay. Ellen, I have a question before you begin. Yeah, sure. I have this other instrument. I think it's a baritone. It was okay. given to me, but I don't know how to tune it. So well, I've never a baritone would, um, yeah, would be tuned differently, typically. Yeah. Um, I'm I don't not know. sure if you can tune it to um, you know, a soprano concert. I tried that, and you really can't. You can't yeah. push the strings that far. Yeah. So you, you've got to uh, you tune it to uh, you know, the baritone tuning, and you'd have to, it's different fingering. So yeah, the chords, yeah, the chords are, are different. different. It's yeah. very different. It, it, it's very like different. learning a new instrument all over. Yes, again. it really is. It but really the is. I mean, we could tone, play together, but you, you'd be learning different. Uh, the tone is lovely. On it. Oh, I bet. I have to, um, Looks but like if I go to tone. that uke tuner online, then they would be able to tell me how to do it. I used to have a, you know, a mouth organ yeah. to be able to do it. Uh -huh. I can't find it. <clears throat> oh, no doubt there's, um, there's, yeah, that's easy, finding a youth tuner online. Just yeah, I, I'll so. have to do that. But I've yeah. got to tell you that I have this thing and I think it's a baritone. It looks like a very nice one, just from looking at yeah. the wood. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks nice, it's lovely. Yeah. You, do you have a brand inside the, you know, inside the sound hole? Paramount. Oh, Paramount. I don't, don't know that brand. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The sound is what's important. Sound is nice. Mm. Okay, so I, I I should tune it in like a baritone, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Sarah, are you good with this drum? It's fun one, right? Got a little rhythm to it, so that was kind of yes. fun to play. Kind Definitely. of get you, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> I have a question. Yes, Tom. What are the straps that you had, ukulele strap? First of all, did you put the strap on yourself? Did you drill the yeah. hole? And uh, no, I, I, I Really, I'm I don't have the heart to do that to my instruments. This one happened to come with a peg. Okay. The kamaka. Yeah. But the, so this is easy. This was easy. But on this one, uh, no, there's another, there are several kinds of straps you can do if you don't have the peg. This one is simply yeah, like tied that. to the head and then you, it goes around your neck. You put the arm in this. So let me show you it. It, it's 
the loop is through this arm. Yeah, I saw that. I like that. I like yeah, that. it works. Yeah. It works really well. And um, takes the weight off a bit. And it's, it's not the only solution. There is another one that's sold. People also like, but it, can you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here, around the neck. So it, it takes the weight off here. You just hold it here in the crook of your arm. So, and um, I got it online. I can I'm gonna search I remember, for it. but it's, um, can, I can figure it out easily and email you if you give me your email address. And I always go to a place, uke.com. They have yes. something there. So yeah. I'm gonna look for it there. They do, I, yeah. thing, I just wanted to pass on to you and other people who are taking it up. Initially, it was hard to get this feeling here. Do you know those round rubber um, pot holders, very lightweight round rubber pot holders? They stick right to the back of this and it holds it right here when you're first starting to learn. It's a great yeah. thing because people start, they slide down a lot. Yes, Just yes, that's a great tip. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. There's another strap that hooks here. It's like a U-hook uh -huh. and it comes around and goes Straight around the neck. Back, yeah. Some people like that as well. Mm, that really holds it in place. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just afraid it will mar the finish. Mm -hmm. So I opted for this one. Yeah, I like that. Um, and you can you can actually make one of these out of a piece of ribbon, which I've done for. Oh, I didn't show you another. You, let me show you while I'm at it. Um, this is this one is just a piece of ribbon tied to the neck, the head here, and then loop made like that. Um, this is the star of my ukulele collection. It's, um, this is Koa. And uh, this was made by a guy in Hawaii who I actually met years ago by the name of Steve Grimes. And it has a very unusual shape. Oh, yes. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Is there a yeah. hole at the, it's very uh, pretty. the top of it? And, yeah. And then another what? down hole here. Hmm. It's a concert, and uh, on this one, I, I, I put a low G string, so which is nice for like blowing in the wind or uh, times they are changing, real folky, folky tunes. It's more guitar-like. It, it has a, a beautiful tune, a uh, beautiful sound to it, um, so. He's some craftsman, let me tell you. The instruments he makes are beautiful. It's hard to get one. I waited how, a while. How many instruments do you have? Oh, well, I got, you know, shortly after I started playing, I, um, I had ukulele acquisition fever about a year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, well, I got the second banjolele, which I love, the good time, and then I got that Steve Grimes. So um, I guess I have uh, six ukes, including the banjoleles, and a banjo. Hmm. A modest number <laughs> in the scheme of things. <laughs> Very modest compared to some people, you know. We have people in the, in the Douglas group that come in with something new every week. I love the way you the display, though. I love the stand right on the top. That just looks oh. so good. I love that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I Actually, that's not permanent. Oh, it should be. I had to style <laughs> the shot a little bit, you know? <laughs> so, uh, so what else um, would you all like to do? Which do, you, do I have? Um, there's a, a really fun tune called Ukulele Lady. Uh, should we try that? It's, it's got some chords uh, that you may not know. I just, you know, I don't know what your chord library is like, um, but let me pull it up. And uh, it's, it's the kind of song where you just, it's, it's so fun and corny and nutty that you just <laughs> have to go for it. Um, let's see. What? Oh, this is a good one too. That's a good one to play on the on the banjo. Moonlight Bay is a great banjo. Oh, that's a good one. 
Can you do that? And so let's do that one. That's, this is actually a medley of um, moonlight tunes, moon tunes. <laughs> uh, here, we've got to go that way. Those are the three, Moonlight Bay, Shine on Harvest Moon, and Silvery Moon. And this is a, definitely a banjo-lele tune. This thing is, you can get injured putting this on. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> so here, let me take this down. So, um, well, the chords are fairly straightforward for most of it. Uh, Moonlight Bay is CF, G7, uh, then Shine on Harvest Moon. Um, that's A7. Seventh. A7 seventh is a very simple chord. It's, um, that's A7. Third string, first fret. And there's also in Shine on Harvest Moon, there's a D7th. And there are two ways to play D7th. You can, this is probably the harder way. It's, um, you're barring across the second fret and you're putting your ring finger on the third fret first string. Good to practice bar chords because they do come up, but an easier way, and it sounds just as good in this song, is fourth string second fret, your index fourth string second fret, and your middle finger second string second fret. So, um, and then we go on to Silvery Moon. And what have we got there? We have a C6. And a C6 is nothing. Just open, open strings. Love that chord. And C sharp diminished is first string, first fret, and third string, first fret. OK, enough. Easy. Too many new chords. But let's. Just play along what you can and
fun. fun. How often do you play? Well, I'd like to say I play at least five minutes every day, but some days more and some days less, you know? If I have a, a jam coming up, I'll, I'll play at least a half hour, 45 minutes. Where would be a jam nowadays? Soon. But doesn't, isn't there a, a, a time lag? There is, and what, the way we do it now is we have a book, everybody has a book, um, you know, for that group, and we take turns. Mm -hmm. It's the only way, and so we, we play muted, just like we're doing now. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal, but um, it's better than nothing. Yeah, you know, and it's uh, it's definitely not. I've started. Um, I could you, to, could you bring us back to seeing everybody? Is that from? Oh yes, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Good. Yeah, um, I did. Uh, the friend who started the Greenport Oops with me uh, and I got together in our backyard, distanced, and. Um, we're going to see how that could, a third person is joining us. You know, we sit far away from each other and play. Um, you know, I miss the, the, the live group for sure. So much fun. So there is, uh, there is hardware and software that musicians use, mostly professionals, uh, to be able to play that cuts the, the lag. Um, but, but it's, it's tricky. Um, and it, there is still lag because the speed of light is, you know, the way, whatever electrons, it, it, there's still problems with it, but it's miles better than zoom. So. Is that how they, uh, when we watch these, um, YouTubes and you have people from all over the world singing the same song. That, some that kind of thing, yes. Mm. yes. Yeah. It, there's hardware involved, you know. Yeah. So. Sarah, I never knew you were a ukulele aficionado. And Tom also. You, you're yeah. muted. Yeah, uh, I'm up again, I think. I'm back. Yes, you are. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I took it up, uh, whew, I'd say five or six years ago. Huh. Just, I love Izzy Kamako Wiwa Ole, famous. Oh, sure. Wonderful guy. Did, yeah. did one of the best renditions of Over the Rainbow. Yeah. And I've been working on that for five years. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah he was this was a lot of fun. I mean, just using those basic chords. I just, I did a screenshot of the Light of the Silvery Moon just so that yeah. I'm going to it up and just play that. That's a great arrangement. That's yeah, a nice, nice music. medley. Yeah. yeah. That's I, from um, <laughs> so many resources online. It's amazing. Uh, but there's, there's one guy um, who publishes a songbook with 3,000 songs Ooh, and uh, gives you the ability to transpose. So if it's out of your, beyond your range, you can transpose to another key. Mm -hmm. uh, and the name of the site is Ozboz, O-Z-B-O-Z. Oh, okay. Yeah, and tremendous site. He has like Beatles songs, songbooks, holidays, Thanksgiving songbooks, children's songbooks. But the main songbook is the one to get that's got everything you can. Many, there's, it's rare that I can't find a tune in there that I want to play. I also use uh, guitar tabs, which is uh -huh. an app. And you, they have all, you can get almost every song ever written translated into a ukulele. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's fun too. Yeah, I know that site. Mm -hmm. yeah, stairway to heaven. You, need, on you need to know a great. I'm sorry, Tom. Uh, you yes. need to know a great many chords in order to do that, though. I my repertoire includes four chords. That's it, and I can play a hundred songs with four yeah. chords. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I just play by ear. You, you, you want me to tell you whether it's a C, D, F sharp, or what? I can't tell you that. All I know is with those four chords, I can play a ton of songs and I just play by ear. Yeah. It seems to work. That's Sarah, when did you start playing uke? I don't know. Many years ago. I had, I don't know. I, I can't remember a time when I didn't have one, but I never really learned a whole lot of chords, you know, because with four, 
I could just play. Right. So I never really <laughs> moved beyond that. Yeah. Um, which was foolish until someone gave me this baritone, you know, said, oh, you'll love this. But it was a little beyond me because I have to tune it differently. Yeah. And, um, and the chords are different. So I have to learn a whole new instrument. It's a great sound in a group yeah. to have a baritone playing, yeah. you know, hold down the bass line. It's really oh, it's a lovely. nice addition. And particularly my voice is a little low. My singing voice is a little low. So the baritone is, mm. is um, mm. super. I tried yeah. to tune it like the soprano. Uh, it doesn't work. The strings no. just won't, they won't do yeah. it. They won't do yeah. it. I'm afraid I'll they're, snap them. Yeah, they're thick strings. Yeah. <clears throat> Tom, could you? Um, yeah, you ought to join uh, when when we crank up the uh, Greenport ukulele group again. Maybe you'll join join yeah. us. Yeah, I think in the early days I was still going back up island on Sundays, so I couldn't stay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But now we're here full time, so this is great. Yeah. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Tom, could you play us like two two uh, bars of somewhere over the rainbow? Oh yes. No, not without not without the music in front of me. I'd have to dig it out. I okay. haven't picked this up in about a year. This is the first time I've I've oh. picked the ukulele out in about a year. I'm focusing on a new guitar, so I'm trying to do that. But uh, wow. over the rainbow is wonderful, just great. But I don't have the music in front of me. Okay. Sorry. Next time. Okay. Well, right. Google it. Google um, Izzy over the rainbow and. Uh, it's, in fact, you know, he passed away how many years ago, Tom? Oh my God, it has to be almost uh, 20 now. 20, yeah, and they, they did the most beautiful funeral for him on the water. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you, can, you can watch that, and the, the background music is his voice singing that. It's a beautiful piece of video. Yeah, it really is. Is he? I Z Z Y? Yes. Yeah. Israel. Israel Kamaka Wiwa Ole. Oh my gosh. Is yeah. he? Is he? <laughs> Spell that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome the best you can. <laughs> if you Google Izzy, I-Z-Z-Y-K, ukulele, he'll come up all over the yeah. world. Yeah, uh, you get more, more than you can handle. Should we, do you know ukulele lady, Tom? I can uh, put music up. It's not okay. hard. Music up. That'd be fun. Sarah, you game? Sure, absolutely. Okay. All right. I'll I'll adapt to my to my four chords. Let's see. Let me see where where does it live here? Nope, nope. There we go. Okay. You may recognize parts of this. Maybe maybe not the first uh, stanza. The splendor of the moonlight on Honolulu Bay. There's something tender in the moonlight on Honolulu Bay. And all the beaches are filled with peaches who bring their youth so long. Fun song. Good song. Yeah. Good song. Great. Yeah. 
and how did you get, you may have, you may have done this, I, I was delayed in getting here. How did you start with the ukulele? What, what? Oh, I, I was saying that I, I walked by One Love Beach on Main Street right here in town and they had ukuleles in the window, a little red one that I got for Ella. Um, and of course she, she could not be bothered with it. So <laughs> <laughs> I could be though. <laughs> <laughs> So you really haven't been playing all that long, Ellen. No, not, no. not very long. Yeah. Like three years, yeah. But it grabbed you. Yeah, I just loved how, how social it is. That, that I, I always wanted, as I said, I took piano lessons and a solitary experience. And really all I ever wanted to do was be in a band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand that, Ellen. absolutely. Yeah. I so, really do. But this, this, this fills the need, so it's fun. And, and it's fun to learn new chords. And um, a friend of mine is way better than I am. So I'm always learning from her bar chords, getting up the neck now and you know, stretching the fingers. So she's, right now she's teaching us, you must have been a beautiful baby. That's a tough song. It's an old song, but it's tough to, because um, you're going up the neck and uh, it's just, let's see, I, I won't remember it by heart, but you're doing, um, like, oh, I must have it somewhere here. Let me see if I can pull it up. It's a great song. Um, hmm. Whoops. We may be out of time, so you know what? I'm not gonna be able to, oh, maybe I can. Let's see, you must have mm, No, sorry, I, I'm not gonna be able to find it. It's buried, it's buried on the computer, but, but you're, you know, you're doing things like. Oh. Or, Um, one, will you just excuse me? Let me grab it because I think it's interesting too. Sarah, how did you find Ellen? How did you know Ellen was, was the ukulele lady? Because there was an article in the Suffolk Times where she was looking for ukulele players oh. that they were going to play in uh, Mitchell Park. Oh, so I, I saved it. Oh, so I, huh. e either that or I'm clairvoyant, one or the uh, other. Uh, probably clairvoyant. <laughs> I was very surprised. Of, how would you even know? <laughs> I saw the article yeah. in the paper in the Suffolk yeah. Times. Yeah, it was a while ago, right? Yeah, it was yeah. a while ago. That, listen, I saved things. You never know when they're going to come in handy. <laughs> And I, I met Ellen as a ukulele player and was playing and then came home and was just looking at things that have in my walls. And I had one of your photographs on the wall. I had no idea that you were the Ellen who did the photograph. I just knew. Oh, you were, you oh right, right. From, right. from the, um, the dinner dance. From the dinner dance, yeah. 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 Huh. <laughs> so this is, um, you must have been a beautiful baby. You must have been a beautiful child. Starting to go to kindergarten, I bet you drove the little boys wild. And when it came to winning blue ribbons, I bet you showed the other kids how. I can see the judges' eyes as they hand you the prize. Bet you made the cutest bow. Must have been a beautiful baby. So you can see those wow. are two chords, and I'm learning oh, them. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Look at you. Huh. Practice. What I'm figuring out is that you have to, when you're learning a new song, you have to do the hardest stuff first, over and over again, and then your fingers develop some muscle memory.
advice. Terrific. Nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was fun. I'm that up. was really fun, Ellen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, nice ending with the so much for my voice and my talented playing. lady. <laughs> you are very, very talented in photography and uh, and music. That's terrific. Not bad at public speaking either. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> you're very kind. You're very kind. Well, what what fun for me? Really fun for me. What me too. Bad. Me hey, too. What, what else do you know? A forgiving group. <laughs> what's, what's your next one? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's about it. That is it. <laughs> uh, thank Maybe you. Come back. And do something I'm going to leave, yeah. leave everybody. Grab some lunch. Bye bye. Thank yeah. you. Bye bye. bye, -bye, bye, -bye. Tom. Thanks. Thank you. Right. Okay. Thanks again. Okay. Um,